right guys, well, I'm back today with a concealable soft armor level 3A vest from Bullet Safe. And this is actually their brand new bulletproof concealable vest with adjustable straps. This is pretty slick because it's 100% made in the USA and it's NIJ certified level 3A, but still comes in at an affordable price point of around $300. Not only that, they've included a coupon code for 10% off, dropping the price $30 to make this $270. This looks really promising, especially with all of these certifications and just the overall ease and comfort of use for the price. So I've been wearing this down at the range and sorry, it's really hard to read that sticker because it's kind of wrinkled up after me wearing it uh, under clothes and things like that. But uh, pretty cool is they actually include a sizing chart and you can get some more information uh, on their website. But I do wanna focus on that sizing chart real quick because they offer a wide variety of sizes so you can pause in and read that. We'll touch base a little bit more about that in a second. But again, this is level level 3A rated to stop up to a 44 Magnum. This one's also stab and slash protection. A lot of, um, I would say a lot of the older uh, vests, the soft armor vests were not stab and slash rated. This one is, um, and then it's got eight points of adjustment, pretty much four on the front and the back. And you can see them at the top right here. I'll show you a little bit more in detail um, about those, but they're just a Velcro adjustments, which is pretty cool. And then they've got upgradable plate pockets. So at the top, you can slide in actually hard armor. I don't really recommend that. I recommend just going with a plate carrier, but that is an option for those guys who want not only the plate protection that a plate carrier provides, but kind of side protection and a little bit larger protection that's a little bit more form fitting. So in that sense, it's kind of like um, one of the vests that the military would use that's a combination of soft and hard armor that actually works out um, pretty well but I feel like it's just a little much. Um, so I, I either either wear in a plate carrier with just plates or I'm going to wear soft armor. But that is an option. That's pretty cool that they consider that option for this. Now, Bullet Safe has been making vests for a while now. But with this upgraded VP3 version, uh, the main thing is you're going to get that 100% made in the USA armor. So that's going to be key. You know the sourcing of that armor is going to be solid and the overall just reliability of the armor is going to be better because you know where it's sourced. And again, you get that NIJ listed model and it's an NIJ certified uh, set of armor that's going to be in this carrier. Overall, the adjustments are actually really nice. It's got some nice give to it. It's reasonably flexible, but it's actually a little bit more stiff than some of the older models of soft armor I've used in the past. Now, so it's going to be slightly less comfortable than a really malleable one, uh, but it's actually going to hold its form really well, and it's incredibly comfortable when I'm wearing it. Something like this has a little bit more rigidity than things I felt in the past, and I think it's because you're going to get that stab proof rating and the slash protection, and you're not going to have as much back face deformation. When something is more rigid and solid, you're going to have less back face deformation. That's actually a huge problem that I've seen with older soft vests. When you shoot them, they actually bulge out and like crunch everything in. It's almost like you're shooting like a rag. So it catches the bullet, but it's almost embedded in your body like three inches deep. Some of the old Kevlar I've shot. So this actually looks really promising for back face deformation. We will try that down at the range when we are shooting this. They actually sent two vests out, one for me to wear for a while and one to shoot. So that was pretty cool of them. And then here's the straps I said I was going to talk about earlier. They've got a lot of bunginess to them. And then the mesh on the back is actually really breathable. So that's pretty slick as well. But overall, I'm a huge fan of this. But let's head down to the range. It's been working out great. It's been comfortable. I can wear it under a hoodie, something like that. And a lot of times, to be honest, a lot you might just wear this over a top of a t-shirt. And if you're in some type of a security application, you can peel this patch off and put whatever company patch on or a security patch or a law enforcement patch right here, a police patch to let you know what's going on. So that's a pretty cool addition. I feel like this is not just a, a novelty. This has 
an objective here that you could wear this outside like a, just a, a standard black t-shirt or a blue t-shirt uh, over a security t-shirt and then that's it's a much more comfortable option than like a rifle plate carrier or something like that and then you can put your company's patch on there so that's pretty slick uh, so overall i'm a huge fan of it the last test really is to shoot it and that's where i'm going to give you my final opinions because until i shoot it i don't want to say yay or nay but i'm i'm absolutely loving the way it feels and the price and the certification the fact that it's made in the usa but let's head down to the range down at the range now to put this vest to the test i've got it separated out to shoot the front plate we are going to see what it stops and we're going to shoot it with a ton of different rounds not only that i want to look to see if it holds its shape and the back face deformation let's begin with a nine millimeter I've got a clip to a plywood backer board with some give to it so it should simulate riding on somebody. We're gonna hit it at about eight yards with all of these different rounds. Let's see how it does. So here are three hits, here, here, and here. This one actually missed the armor. That was my fault. It just punched right through the back, but again, it missed that armor plate. But where it counts is those two hits right there, center a mass, and absolutely nothing made it through, and there's almost no back face deformation, and it's holding its form really well. This is already impressing me a ton. Let's keep shooting it. Next up, 357 Magnum out of this Colt Lawman. Let's see how this does. I am pretty darn excited to see the back face deformation with that powerful 357 Magnum round. So here are our next two hits. This should be good. We'll pull this off and flip it and nothing made it through. And guys, I don't know if you could tell, but this is holding its form insanely well. A lot of soft armor will start crumbling in on itself and really losing its shape, but this is holding its form and there's almost no back face deformation. You can feel a slight bulge where that round impacted, but this is insanely impressive, especially for such a high value price. Now for the big boy, 44 mag, this thing packs a punch. Here we go. So here are two hits. This one again missed the armor. You can see the armor starts right about there. Let's pull this off and take a look. So this one missed the armor and punched through, but this was a direct hit, guys, and it split the back, but it did not go through so i want to show you guys there's no actual hole in the kevlar but it did split the backer but the back face deformation is minimal compared to other soft armor i've shot in the past this is holding its form really well you can actually feel the round wedged inside there that is insanely impressive i'm going to hit it a few more times with 44 mag kind of in the center to see what it does I'm trying to spread my shots around the entire plate. That's why I'm hitting the edges close to the center. I want to give you a good representation, but I'm going to try to place both of these kind of center of mass to see what it does. So one hit right here and one hit right here. It looks like I'm pulling a little left. I'm not even going to blame the slights. That's probably my flinch, but let's see what it did. Let's pop this off and it stopped them, guys. Definitely stopped them. You can see where it wanted to start to split just like this other one, but actually it was a little bit closer to the center. That held up fine. It did not pop through. Again, you can feel the rounds in there. Now the back face deformation on this is a lot worse than the 357 or the nine millimeter, but guys, this is holding its form insanely well. I mean, this has some really good multi-strike capability. Now to put that multi-strike capability to the test and see what happens next. Now for some more nine millimeter. So here are all our hits, and there are some right on top of each other. Let's pull this off and see. And nothing made it through. So again, it started to split the back, but actually nothing pulled through the Kevlar. And what I'll do is I'll cut this off in a minute so you guys can see. So this soft mesh material that helps it breathe is kind of splitting under the force, but nothing is making it through. And I mean, out of all of those hits, you can see 
Uh, the back face deformation is nowhere near as bad. I mean, I'm sure you guys seen other soft body armor reviews. Whatever they're doing, this thing is really holding its shape and it's doing incredibly well. Almost point blank, nine millimeter. There's our hit. You can see the gunpowder residue and it stopped it and nothing made it through. So there's our hit. Nothing made it through. That is awesome. Point blank 357 Magnum. Nothing made it through. That is insanely awesome. So you can see, again, this is where the back split before, but nothing actually made it through. Time to cut this open. We're going to go ahead and pull this armor out of here. I actually don't have to cut it open because I can simply just remove it from the carrier itself. And you guys can see, you can feel it. So here's where it's split. And this is where one of the rounds was, but you could see it actually captured that round just fine. And then you could see no holes whatsoever right here. Again, just the back part split itself. And there's nothing that made it through up at the top. So I'm gonna pull this layer off to show you kind of guys. So you can see how well this actually did. It's holding up incredibly well. It's got a good perimeter stitching that keeps everything together. And you can see a lot of the rounds actually stopped right at the top. That's pretty slick. So you guys can see how many layers we have left with absolutely no holes. Again, this is the back part of it. And actually, this thing is put so well together, it's actually hard to disassemble. But you can see, look at all these layers left that nothing made it through. It actually stopped mostly in the front part right here. And here's some rounds that are falling out. Oh yeah, here's my, there's most of them right there. That is pretty darn cool. So you like can see where most of it stopped. A few made it through this first white sheet. Uh, looks like there's even some more back here. So it's capturing all of those just fine. And you can see after a few of these white sheets, looks like that's a, one of the last ones that made, oh, there's a couple trapped in here. Guys, that is awesome. You can actually dissect and see how far. There's a few right there. Uh, but after that sheet, Look how much is left that nothing made it through, even those point blank hits. This is an absolute win. And remember the back face deformation, even with those point blank hits, were not bad at all. And that is key because that's what's gonna go against your body. This stuff is absolutely awesome. I can highly recommend it. It stopped 18 rounds with plenty of room to spare and layers to spare. This stuff is absolutely awesome. Again, for sub $300 for a really comfortable, durable, and you can tell absolutely works concealable vest. Uh, remember that code, all the information and linking will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.